Hi everyone uh, and welcome to today's daily message. Today I want us to explore the importance of prayer to our well-being. In this time of anxiety it's inevitable that anxieties will rise. Over the last few days I've spoken with many who are feeling keenly the effects of the crisis. I think it's fair to say that this is an emotional time where responses can be heightened and extra grace may be needed. Let's be prepared for this and bear with one another really well and show love and understanding. The book of Philippians is a book of joy and encouragement, it's a book of positivity and blessing. Here are a few verses from chapter 4 from the Message Version. Celebrate God all day every day. I mean revel in him. Make it as clear as you can to all you meet that you're on their side, working with them and not against them. Help them see that the master is about to arrive. He could show up at any minute. Don't fret or worry. Instead of worrying, pray. Let petitions and praises shape your worries into prayers, letting God know your concerns. Before you know it, a sense of God's wholeness, everything coming together for good, will come and settle you down. It's wonderful what happens when Christ displays his worry at the centre of your life. Summing it all up, friends, I'd say you'll do best by filling your minds and meditating on things true, noble, reputable, authentic, compelling, gracious, the best, not the worst, the beautiful, not the ugly. Things to praise, not things to curse. Put into practice what you learned from me, what you heard and saw and realised. Do that and God who makes everything work together will work you into his most excellent harmonies. Let's celebrate God. Let's revel in God. He is delightful. Let's ensure that our cup overflows and that we're buzzing for God that people see this. Pray and find peace. Prayer changes things, doesn't it? If we're feeling anxious, let's decide to pray. God brings things together for good and he will settle you down. The return for your heartfelt prayer is to find peace, to be able to see that God works all things for good. I love the line in verse 7. Before you know it, a sense of God holiness, everything coming together for good, will come and settle you down. That's great. Or more traditionally, the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. It's been great to see recently the instances of good things happening around us, community-wise. Christ will displace our worries. He guards our hearts and our minds. God's peace is different from the world's peace. True peace is not found in positive thinking, in the absence of conflict or in good feelings. It comes from knowing that God is in control. Our citizenship in Christ's kingdom is sure uh, and our destiny is set and we have victory over sin. Let's God, allow God's peace to settle us and to give us calmness. Finally, meditate on what is good, the best, not the worst. Fill your minds with what is true, noble, reputable, authentic, compelling, gracious, the best, the beautiful, things to praise. Let's make the deliberate choice to focus on all these wonderful things at this time when there is much difficulty and worry around us. Let's pray. Lord, we pray that you will settle us down. May you displace worry in our lives. May we focus on the best of things. Will you work everything together for good? We pray, Lord, that as we trust in you, you'll, you will work us, Lord, into your most excellent and beautiful harmonies. Amen. Hashtag clean hands, open hearts.